y'all. So, <laughs> so let me tell y'all this story. All right. So, mm, story is titled that way for a particular reason. Now, listen. So, a few years ago, um, before I got with this one girl, me and her were actually bed buddies first. Worked out pretty nicely that way. We both knew our boundaries. And hung, hung out just like friends. But when it got to it, it got to it. Same thing was gravy, right? Well, at one point, the girl started getting, started having more feelings for me than I did for her. They wanted to move a lot faster and wanted to get in a relationship, and I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. So she decided to go off and do her own thing. So sometimes she would be seeing a guy, if it didn't work out, she would always come back to me. This happened like a couple of times. Well, in between this, these points, um, there was a mutual friend, kind of. An acquaintance for her, but a friend for me. They knew each other. They hung out with some of the same people. And me and her had been getting closer and closer within, I would say, the past few weeks. Um, I would text her, see if she, if she would be at the club. She would text me, see if I would be at the club. And whenever we got together, our dancing was good. It was on point. It was it was sex on the dance floor, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I remember a couple of times, like, people that saw me with her, word got around that people thought she was my girl, or they were like, I remember this one dude was telling another one, he was like, yeah, man, he was like, yo, your boy was at the club with the baddest girl, and this and that. And she, she did look good. She was bad. So, here we go. I'm in between bed buddying with one of them. And I'm getting closer and closer to one. So we, we all get invited to this party, right? House party, little get together. And the bed buddy says she wasn't coming. And me and the other one have been talking back and forth. And I was like, I'm gonna be there. And I basically let her know I'm coming for you. So when I got there, we talking getting along, having a good time, you know, the tension's there, but it's not there, because we haven't really, you know, the other one walks in, I'm like, oh my god, so, I'm like, come on, you said you wasn't coming, <laughs> so, when the other one came in, the bed buddy, she was kind of like, she was happy to see me, and she was hoping we could do something later, but I was like, no, I already got intentions tonight. They're not with you for the night. They with somebody else. All right. So she ends up leaving, getting tired of waiting, kind of waiting around for me because I'm lukewarm. I'm not really okay. Okay. The other one, by the way, basically lets me know she's a little bit bisexual because there's these girls there. She's kind of congregating with them. It, 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 I don't want to get into that, but I found out later, like, yo, like, she's got an attraction for girls. So I was like, oh, my God. So I let the other one go. And with this, I'm masked out because she's talking to the chicks. So I was like, nah, nah, well, whatever, I'm leaving. So I leave. I get down the street. She texts me. She's like, where'd you go? And uh, I was like, I left. She was like, come back. Come back here. I want to see you. So I was like, <laughs> I wouldn't speak. I just turned around. I said, like, all right. So when I, get, when I get there, she's she's waiting for me, leaned up against this car. I just look at her right. And I, I knew what it was. And I came right up to her. We started talking. I was getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And it was on. It was on for about 10, 15 minutes. And... I had a minivan that I was driving at the time because I worked for a car dealership and our car dealership was letting me use the minivan to move some stuff around from apartment to apartment. And I was like, let's go to the minivan right now. She wouldn't do it. She wouldn't do it. And uh, later she told me that she was afraid, you know, that girl line that it would mess up the friendship if we did. But anyway, so... Here we go getting to the basically the title of the story, right? So, um, at one point, 
the bed buddy was talking a little slick. And you know how sometimes you'd be like, you know what, I'm going to tell them this. This is going to let them know, what's up? I got options and don't, you know. And so <laughs> I said, look, I made out with such and such that night. She was like, what? What? I was sitting right there. I was, you could have taken me. And I was like, well, sometimes you want tacos instead of hamburgers. <laughs> now, my friend that I made up with that night, she was a Latina. <laughs> Do you know that all the days of my relationship with that girl after getting with her, the bed buddy, because we eventually got together, she never, ever let me live that shit down in the middle of an argument or even one of those play arguments you have with each other when you're talking shit. Yeah, well, maybe you just want tacos instead of hamburgers. Yeah, why don't you go get that? And I was just like, oh, boy. So, that's my tacos versus hamburgers hookup story. Hope y'all liked it. Hope you found it funny. Because till this day, it's still funny to me. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think. One million subscribers. Woo!